फ्रेंड्स हैप्पी वर्ल्ड हार्ट डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर वसीम अहमद सचोरा आई एम ए प्रैक्टिसिंग फिजिशियन एट अहमदाबाद सो टूडे आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज द ब्लड प्रेशर एंड द स्टेप टू प्रिवेंट हाइपर टेंशन सो वेन एवर अवर हार्ट बीट्स इट पम्प्स द ब्लड इन टू द ब्लड वेसल्स दिस प्रोसीजर क्रिएट्स प्रेशर अगेंस्ट द वॉल ऑफ द ब्लड वेसल्स एंड दिस प्रेशर इज नोन एज ब्लड प्रेशर नॉर्मली द ब्लड प्रेशर फॉल्स इन Uh, uh in the range of 120 by 80 mercury but if it remains above 140 by 90 then we termed as a hypertension this pressure doesn't remain static throughout the day it rise and fall depending upon the activities normally the blood pressure doesn't cause any symptoms it is it is known as a silent killer but if this blood pressure remains on the higher side for a longer period of time and if it remains untreated then it can causes end organ damage the high blood pressure can cause damage to our brain our heart our kidneys our eyes as well as it can also cause damage to our peripheral nervous system the blood pressure uh, there are many risk factor for the high blood pressure some are modifiable risk factor some are non modifiable risk factor the non modifiable risk factor includes our age our ethnicity our race our family history but the modifiable risk factor includes our dietary habits if you are taking lots of salt and processed food it can lead to the high blood pressure if you are ha- having lots of alcohol then it also can causes hypertension if uh, we are living a sedentary lifestyle if there is no exercise uh, 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 if you are taking lots of processed food then it may can lead to higher blood pressure okay so now we will discuss regarding the step which we can do which we can incorporate in our in our life which can help to reduce the blood pressure so first of all uh, regular exercise exercise is very important it helps to keep us in shape as well as it keeps uh, it reduce our weight also and it also reduce our blood pressure also so what type of act, uh, exercise specifically aerobic activities like jogging swimming cycling running and just a brisk walking could help to reduce the blood pressure the uh, this aerobic activity should last for at least 30 minutes a day daily or 45 minutes a day uh, five times a week okay second stress management is important the stress management includes again the exercise is one of the important stress ma- uh, stress uh, uh, decreaser uh, uh, next is listening to the music doing yoga and meditation which also reduce stress and ultimately it lead to decrease blood pressure a uh, third important aspect is diet what type of diet which 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 uh, we, we should take the diet should include uh, whole grains high protein decrease salt and right? even the salt decrease by just by decreasing the salt intake it can reduce our blood pressure by 5 5 mm hg so the slow sodium diet is essential okay third important aspect is uh, adherence to the medicines the whatever your doctor has prescribed you need to take the medicine at regular interval fourth aspect is we should have a regular checkup and fifth quit we need to quit smoking if you are a smoker then we need to quit smoking it's not reduce the smoking we should quit it so these are small steps four to five steps which we can take which we can incorporate in our life then it could help to reduce blood pressure and help to prevent the occurrence of hypertension thank you